So for the for the first time ever on uh, Guitar Paradiso, hello, welcome to Guitar Paradiso. By hello, the way. I'm Pete. I am Mick, uh, <laughs> and today we have a bowel moving experience. Absolutely, my goodness me, what just happened? Yeah, well, I tell you what happened. The Laney LA one hundred BL just happened, and there is a story. Yeah. So the story goes like this: Rewind to nineteen sixty nine. Uh, Laney made this amplifier. And the following year, on Friday the 13th, no less, Friday the 13th of February, <laughs> out comes a record that's going to change music forever. Um, and that, uh, that record is Black Sabbath. And various people have said it's kind of when heavy metal was invented, it's when distorted guitar really came to the fore in kind of heavy music. Mm. It's probably why James Hetfield wears his Black Sabbath t-shirt. And, and everybody else wears a Black Sabbath t-shirt. Yeah, Black Sabbath, you know. We don't even need to talk about Black no. Sabbath anymore. Yeah. What we need to say is that um, if you stick that record on <laughs> and you listen to it opening, you hear rain, you hear a bell toll, yeah. uh, you hear thunder, thunder, more rain. Yeah. It, is, it was Birmingham. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's up north, isn't it? And then this noise. Yeah, this, this yeah. incredible... I mean, dude. Well, I, I'm still, I'm still. My arms are still tingling. My this side. It's is, it's so interesting because uh, let's get into it in a second. Okay. But we're so used to the sound of modern amps being all smooth and lovely, and yeah. actually, when you hear this, it is a completely different experience. And we should we should just say that it's not all about Black Sabbath. Um, plenty of other people have used this amp over the years, but something interesting is happening with Laney next year, which makes it especially relevant. Yeah. First off, it's um, the company's 50th anniversary, so congratulations, congratulations. to those guys. Yeah. Um, secondly, it's the last ever Sabbath tour. Yeah. And apparently, uh, Tony Iommi went to Laney and said, look, it started with Laney, it should end with Laney. That's the amp he used first. This is how he wants to go out. Obviously, Laney don't build it anymore, so they said, well, actually, we can build it. So they built some. Yeah. In fact, they built 13, because that's how many you for, need for when, him. You're, when you're taking yeah, exactly. it you need, you need 13 of these heads, Yeah. because one is not loud enough. I don't know. My good Lord. And these are exactly replicas Yeah. or um, copies of. Hand-wired turret board, four EL34s, yeah. 100 watt loud old school valve amp, exactly as they were by all accounts. Has it got an effects loop? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> has it got like a MIDI function or something? No MIDI as far as I'm aware. Has it got like a master? No master volume. No. Well, actually, yes, it does has have a master volume, but it doesn't have a preamp gain. Exactly. So has it got like... Channel switching? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> but it has got one thing. You know what it has, Pete. No, it's got... <laughs> Christ. What's it got? It's got this. <laughs> Uh, for anyone who 
anyone who doesn't know, that is a uh, Diabolicus in Musica. Yeah, the interval, uh, a tritone, which was banned by the uh, was a Catholic Church, probably. It's the church in uh, what is it, thirteen? 13- 1300s or yeah, something. It's also because, the intro to Black Sabbath. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it just summons demons from the bellows below in hell comes up. And this is the first thing that comes up like that. And then the devil comes up with an SG and just goes. <laughs> and then, you know, it's the end of the world as we know it. But it's a good end. It's the beginning of it. It's the beginning of, a, of, the, world. of a completely. So... You mentioned other people are using this. Well, yeah, before we get to that. So, yeah. so 2017, um, as we said, 50th anniversary of yes. Laney and the last ever Sabbath tour. So Laney's going to make 50 of these. And you'll notice that there's a head and a cab. In the cab are G12H uh, Celestine speakers, yeah. the heavy magnet Four. Um, uh, version of that speaker. In addition, there is this. Uh, now, apparently, uh, part of Tony Iommi's classic sound was a modified... Dallas Arbiter Rangemaster, yeah. which is a famous old treble booster. Roy Gallagher used it, um, germanium treble booster. Yeah. Uh, he had one, and apparently uh, somebody he knew or a friend had, had one that had been modified, and his sounded much better. He had his modified, yeah. and it turned into, you know, once you pair the treble booster with this amp, that there was, you go, that's, that's the sound. So yeah. in honor of that... Um, well, what happened was... Go on. ...was that his tech, they came back from a tour or something, and his tech thought it was broken, and he threw it away... Wasn't it something like that? Yeah. And then he was like, where is my sound? Oh, I threw it away because I didn't think it worked. You're gone. You're fired. And then he's been searching for it ever since. Okay, yeah, I right. think. Wasn't that correct? And then, you know, that's how this sort of came about because that is the set. And you can get this set as yeah, well. Yeah, it's going to be 50 It's going to be 50, 50 sets for next sets, year only. pedal, cab, and the head. Yep. And that is... We don't know pricing yet, so we're not going to go there. But my good God! Yeah, it's a hand wide amp made in made in the UK. One of fifty. It's it's not going to be two hundred ninety nine quid. No, definitely so, not. So um, moving on to the pedal. Yeah. Uh, so it's a oh. germanium treble booster made by Black Country Customs, which is actually Laney's kind of custom bit. Yeah. Um, which is a cool name as well, man. It is cool. It's a cool name. Black Country being named for a bit of the West Midlands for anyone who yeah. doesn't know. Like um, Robin Hood and sort of you know back then. Though. Is it? Was that the West Midlands? No. <laughs> was it Nottingham? <laughs> I don't know. I'm Danish. He's Danish. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you heard it just a second ago, but drive, volume, um, lows and highs. And apart from the fact that it sounds really nice, yeah. one of the coolest things about this pedal is middle, the middle setting. These ones here. It's got a detonk, sent detonk. Is there, look. Yeah, it's over here, isn't it? I like that. And then you go like that and it goes, click. It's like opening a safe. You turn it on, you get click, click, and you open the safe up. Oh, special. <laughs> and you get sound in your face. Uh, and it has three modes. Um, that one seems to be the bassiest and the most gainy. Mm. That one's a bit more mid-pushed, and that one is kind of just standard, as far as I'm aware. Also, we must say it's all exclusive. This this is the first time anyone has ever seen this. I'm so excited. I'm getting a bit it. hot. It is hot, it and, is I, hot. and I can still feel the tingling, We've honestly. I'm not on. kidding. I can still feel that tingle from that yeah. sound in my body. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just incredible. The slightly annoying thing is we can't really hear it because it's so blooming loud. Yeah, we have to have those things on. It's like, so tell me about... So apparently uh, Tony never uses ear ear protection. And just thinking back, (laughs) I mean, how loud must bands have been? Yeah, but there wasn't any PAs. I think we talked about this before. You know, back then they didn't have big PAs and they didn't really mic stuff up. And if they did have... PAs and it was mic'd up. It was almost smaller than this. They needed the stuff to just yeah, yeah. to, to well, go yeah. to just punch people in the face like that. Imagine, even in the back row. You imagine know. playing the Albert Hall with no PA. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. Which is what they were doing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, am I still right. Without I further ado, quickly, so protect, protect, P- protect. You play the guitar. Okay. I'll just explain a little bit about do you, how it Do works. you want to explain something about these yeah, two things yeah. as well? So, uh, as was common... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the room has got ear defenders on. It's as, quite funny. As, as was common in the, in the late 60s and early 70s, um, uh, companies used to produce pretty much the same amp for lead and bass, maybe with a capacitor change or whatever. But this one happens to have... Um, a treble input, 
And a base input, and, and another interesting factoid is for anyone who really likes the Laney Supergroup, which is a very popular amp, um, friend of mine, Paul Stacey, it's his like favorite amp. Paul is um, amazing. Really cool what? amp. This was the pre Supergroup, so it's very, very similar in, in many respects. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tony plugs into the left hand input on the base channel, given that, you know. Because he's left handed. He's that way. <laughs> and. Uh, so here you go then. Here's what. But they've got they've got different like. impedance uh, things as well in the in okay, these two. Okay, come on then. Play. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll Wish just, me luck. We'll just go quiet. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've just taken my ear off a little bit because I need to hear it. And then there's the, the trumpet nice. channel. Wow, I have to take these off because I want to hear that. There we go. Actually, that's that's it's not, not too, too bad. bad there. It's not too bad. Very responsive. I see his eyes are going. Lovely. That's actually really nice. It's very nice. It's putting it out, isn't it, as it well? Is. And there's no reverb, there's no nothing. It's just a clean sound with this completely yeah. guitar to amp. Going through the So it's not just a rock machine, it's just, that's great! There are Sabbath fans the world over, going, yelling at the yeah, screen. Yeah, you're playing blues! <laughs> Stop playing blues! <laughs> Right there, but it's a different guitar course. <laughs> With 
the eye going. Oh, oh. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing forgiving in that at no. all in in the delivery, is there? It's not just at all. Some uh, so I saw somebody commented on on one of our videos saying, "What is this word pokey that you keep saying?" <laughs> As when your eyes goes like this. Yeah. That's they don't know what it means. So the definition of pokey. Yeah. Like, pokey, pokey. It's there's no. Yeah. What what is it? It's like because it'd be. It's like being hit with a cricket bat instead of one that's got a bit of foam attached to the front of it. <laughs> is that pokey, is it? Yeah, it's you know, be something really just, sharp. If you feel the it? wood first, yeah. <laughs> whereas if you feel the bit of foam, and it's quite a thick bit of foam first. Anyway. Anyway, that's, uh, that's enough about his weekend. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. So, yep. moving on from the very nice... Uh, clean tone is amazing in that, isn't it? This clean tone is great. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And actually... Interestingly, uh, playing the, like you're ever going to buy one of these to play jazz on, but a bit like the way a solid state amp just gives you that yeah, really quick response, clean sound. Yeah. You kind of get that. At the Trans transformers in this, hmm? also worth mentioning. What? What? <laughs> the transformers in, in this, Lainey. Oh, yes. You yeah. know, they took them, the original ones, and had them completely recreated. Yes. In and Sri Lanka or something. And, and, and then... By all accounts, there is something about the design of those original transformers that gives this extra harmonic, which we make. Which is like the dis uh, like a, uh, almost like an octave underneath the, the distortion yeah. when it come when it kicks in, and that's that sound, you know. Well, let's see if we can. Like Noel Gallagher and, used it as well, didn't he? And, yeah, and then you can sort of see that kind of apparently just doing this in a stadium, man. And it's funny. Um, so in in one of the terrible cover bands I play in. Um, we open the set with uh, cigarettes and alcohol. Uh huh. I do that always. That's my morning ritual. And, and, and it, this isn't that sound, but it comes in with this really kind of. There's a lot of fizz on the edge of the distortion. It's like a really pushed sound. And just when we were winding it up earlier, it reminded me a little bit. Yeah, of it's that. got it's got that. But just, it needs to be louder. Well, oh, it, we, oh dear. Oh my god. Okay. That's the good thing about if you are recording in the studio, you can literally just do that. What? What? Anyway. It sounds so good without these on. Does it? It does. Yeah, you shouldn't do that, man. I'm, I'd have to. Because, uh, yeah, it's I like can't a... really tell what sort of treble attenuation we've got going on.
Honestly, man. That's incredible. I... What does it sound like? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it's, no, that it's, is incredible. Yeah. And I think, you know... We, we Obviously, have to, we can't, there's two, the neighbors are going to come running. We're sat right next to it. What I would like to do is get in a bigger room and stand a few feet away. Here's an idea, which I'm, I might just throw out now, and I don't know if it's going to end the video or not, but since we are going to get a new warehouse, oh. shall we see if we can ask the captain to be the first thing we do yep. to take this in to the warehouse. Stick it. I know Rob did a similar video with a little little combo. Uh, stick that in there and just have a long cable and then turn everything up like that and just bloody go like smash with an SG. So we see if we can make that happen. Why not? Can you imagine? Yeah. You can, I can imagine For a minute, it right I now. I thought you were going to suggest let's take it to the pub and go busking again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I think, you know, I, I think actually they could probably I, hear it in the pop right now, couldn't they? My name's Mick and I've written some songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to play the first song that I wrote the other day. This, this, this is called... This is called Di Diabolica Sid Musica. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the first go and all the glasses. <laughs> they just pop around you. Yeah. That would be a cool idea as well. Mr. Anyway, this is okay. absolutely... LA. So there we 100 go, BL. LA 100 BL. I mean, fifty of these, Laney LA 100 BL. This is Tony Iommi's signature uh, Black Country Customs um, treble booster. Awesome, that's a great pedal. The head, the cabinet, yeah, come as a set. One of fifty happening next year, 2017. Yeah. So that's that's what that's all about. And we're just going to stick a quick picture up here uh, of an original one next to a new one. There you go. Look, there you go. The same. It looks so cool, man. I mean, it's funny when we were getting it out of the box. I was going, "Oh, they started doing slanty cabs. That's really cool. What a great idea!" They did it in 1969. Everything's been done before. Exactly. Everything has been done before. Yeah. But this is cool. You can't really see it. We'll see if we can get close-ups. It's like little slant on that on the cab like that. Little holes in the side there. Whole thing. I, you know me in details. Check that out. The little on-off switch. There's a little metal thing. I love it. I love it. Man, it's good. It is good. It is good. Man, uh, good. And I, I kind of alluded to it right at the top of the video, but if you've, if most of your life you've listened to modern amps with kind of a, you know, a modern amp sound, do yourself a favour and listen to an amp like this. Yeah. It is a completely different world and experience. Yeah. And you should have it in your it's life. It's just that it's it's meant to be. We talk about it. We talked about it a lot four by 12 cabs if you haven't experienced it if you were plugged into a small little practice amp at home and you never plugged into a full stack you're just missing out man. got a full stack imagine that of Why that oh. maybe that's one for the warehouse i can literally it still tingles i love it i think it's great man if you're lucky enough go and find, if, if if you get one of these if you are yeah. connoisseur of sound I want to see every pub jazz player <laughs> next year playing one of these with a 412 in the corner. You it have to turn it down a bit. <laughs> so, yes. My God, this is good. My God, it is good. And congratulations to Laney for the 50th anniversary. Yeah. That's really cool. Big deal. A British manufacturer still going strong. That's good. I like that. It's good. Okay, guitar parody. So, I was Mick. And I was Pete. And this was the Laney 100BL. Quick, 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 everybody. See you soon. See ya.